you don't have much time. Okay, that's fine. All that shit goes away when you start making money. Okay, once you see that you can pull these these setups and, and opportunities out of the marketplace consistently, your job that you think is the most important thing right now that controls every aspect of your time, that shit's going to fall secondary. You're thinking right now, yeah, I'd like to learn how to trade, but you know, I got this job. I'm afraid to lose everything. I'm afraid to you know, take a, a risk. And Okay, entrepreneurs, here's the difference between an entrepreneur and someone that's going to be in the rat race forever. The entrepreneur tests to see if there's opportunity. Once the entrepreneur sees there's valid evidence to support that they can absolutely be profitable doing it, the job that they hold as their shield, their their pillar of insurance, they hold on to that. That's their that's their fortress and high tower they run into when things get rough. At least I have my job. Fuck that shit. That job is not guaranteed. Just like your next trade isn't a guarantee in winning. But see, you think that your job, that's a safe thing. That's a fortress of solitude. It is a bunch of shit. It's slavery. They have literally brainwashed you into thinking that that is what you should accept. And I'm telling you, that's not what you should be accepting. You're being limited. Your entire, your entire life is being held back because of that fucking job. You can only make what that person that employs you tells you you're going to make. You can't make any more than that unless they're nice to you. And this is what they've been teaching you. If they're nice to you and they let you get some fucking overtime so you can make the Christmas bills that you create for yourself. <laughs> I know I used to do the same shit. Beg and plead. Hey, can I have some extra hours? Can I please slave for less than I'm really, you know, should be expecting as income. Let me prostitute my time some more and be away from my family some more for a little bit more money for one and a half times of the bullshit pennies that you give me. When you start seeing that you can do this, that fucking job is going to be secondary now. And that's exactly what you want. You want to do everything that beefs up and fortifies what you're doing as an investor. Because as an investor, there is no ceiling. There is no limit that you can say, okay, this is as much as I can earn. Who says that? Who says that you can't do that? Who says that you can't make $10,000 a month? Who says you can't make $10,000 a week? Who the fuck said you can't make $10,000 a trade? Who's saying you can't? The only person that can stop it is you. You. The same person that's saying, you know, I don't like having to go to work, but man, I'm glad I got my job right now. What would I do if I didn't have my job? What the fuck would you do if you didn't have your job and you're earning money from your investments? That's the question you should be asking. Flip it instead of saying, what would I do if I lost my job? That's an abusive relationship and you're fucking holding on to it. You start small. Five handles is easy. Five handles replaces your fucking job. I don't care what you make. You can be a surgeon. I have them. Five handles, you can make more than that surgeon earns in a year. All the heavy lifting is done by money management. You just need to have the cookie cutter that repeats over and over and over again. This thing that you keep doing, that's your multiplier. Five handles right now is easy for you to learn to do. It's not easy when you first start. But if you look at these price ranges in the morning session and the afternoon session, there's several five handle runs in there easy ones the problem is you want more right now you're holding yourself to an expectation that you are not realistically going to meet and then you're wondering why you're depressed and anxious you're feeling rushed you're weighing yourself against what you think you should know by now and that's bullshit there's only been one week one week and you think you're supposed to quit your job and be able to double your fucking account in, in 